Hey everybody, Park Hopper John here, and I want to let you know about this amazing offer from our friends over at Blue Apron. Uh, we love Blue Apron. It's a service that will not only save you time, it'll save you money. Now, what is Blue Apron? Well, it's a box that's delivered to your door that has a variety of chef-designed step-by-step recipes with only the freshest seasonal ingredients that you can use to prepare delicious, unforgettable meals that you cook from scratch. Everything that you need to cook your meal is included in the box. Well, except for the pots and pans. If you go over to www.parkhoppers.com slash blue apron, you can save $30 on your very first order. Guys, there's no reason not to do this. There's no commitment. You can skip a box and you can certainly cancel at any time. There's no reason not to give Blue Apron a try. So go there, www.parkhoppers.com slash blue apron and give them a shot today. Hey! Hello! Well, it's Tuesday, so you know what that means. Welcome! Happy Tuesday! Yeah, here we are. We are at uh, Splitsville here in Disney Springs. So Who are we? My name is Park Hopper John. I'm Park Hopper Sid. And we are WDW Park Hopper. Thank you. You can't really see, uh, to get a good shot of us, you can't really see outside, but we are upstairs at Disney Springs here in Splitsville. Let me go ahead and do this and go ahead and try not to crash the camera, but that's our view of Disney Springs. That's a pretty good view, right? That, that is nice. And actually, if we go right over here, we get to see the beautiful new Haleo, which is coming. This is a taste of Spain, so it's a really nice view of the construction. So, yeah, yeah pretty cool. This. Chef uh, Jose Andreas? Yes, I think so. Yes. Yeah, so cool. So I'm reading hey, the signs on the wall. So, anyway, so glad that you guys are here. Thanks for taking time out of your uh, schedule to watch. Uh, we've got some people in the chat room. Uh, very excited that you guys are here tonight. We want to encourage you guys to go over to uh, www.parkhoppers.com and check out all the fun stuff happening over there, uh, as well as visiting us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all at WDW Park Hoppers. You can't get away from us. We're taking over the world, right? We're trying. We're doing our best. So uh, we are, tonight is Park Hoppers Live. Yep. And we are truly live. Um, we, like we said, we are here at, um, Splitsville. at Splitsville. And why are we here, John? Well, this is the next to last week for the... Uh, Discover Bourbon, and what Ooh. is this that I have? Please tell me this what this is. This is called the Trifecta, mm. and so this is the little booklet that tells you what everybody has for the bourbon specials. Right. And this one is a stirred concoction of Old Forester Signature Hundred Proof, Carpana Antica Vermouth, Benedictine, and Pimento Dram. Man, it's good. It's really it good. Is very good. Uh, and the bartenders here pour very strong. So. Yes, they do. Kind of have to get used to that, but uh, we're very, uh, very excited to be here next week. I'll go ahead and tell everybody we're going to be at Polite Pig. We're going back. We're going to where uh, it all started, <laughs> for good and for bad. So we're, we're going back to the scene of the crime. So next week will be the last week that we will be broadcasting while the uh, Discover Bourbon event is going on. Yes. Uh, it actually goes through the 17th. Right. I thought I had that right, but I wasn't yep. sure. So Sunday the 17th. So yeah, definitely yep. come check it out. And if you have a chance, come down here. Go to the information center. Get a little booklet. Go see what kind of specials they have that you'll enjoy. So that means we need a little bit of help from you guys. So after we do next week at the Polite Pig, where should we go next? Now, Ooh. caveat is we cannot go into a park. Okay. So that's the only caveat that we're going to give you. Where do, would you guys like to see us go next uh, that's not inside a Disney park, all right? So that's okay. the deal. So we're going to do the live show from somewhere else on Disney property, but we, we can't do it inside a park. That's the rule that I'm putting down. That's fine. Okay. So resorts, Disney Springs, yeah, yeah that pretty anywhere much Anywhere you want to go. So. I uh, want to also, yeah, yeah, no. So, we also want to let you know about our meetup. This is coming up June 23rd, which is Saturday from 2 o'clock until 4 o'clock. We're going to be over at Port Orleans French Quarter. We're going to go to Sasa Gula Floatworks and Food, and we're going to enjoy some beignets. See, and you were making fun of me for how I said Sasa Gula last week. Mm -hmm. So, what should I say, ladies? I wasn't making fun of you, Sasa Gula. Uh, so we're going to go check out some beignets. We're going to have fun and prizes. And it's uh, part of the 
Disney Parks Podcast, Disney by the Numbers, WDW Park Hoppers, Conglomerate, Disney yes. Inc. Uh, meetups. We want to make sure that you guys are there. And uh, it's going to be from 2 to 4. So just come on and have a good time. We're comping the, uh, the uh, beignets. So Ooh. all you have to worry about is uh, drink. And Wait, if you is want it all else. you can eat beignets? Because that could be a little mm, scary. It's not all you can eat, but it's a few that you can enjoy. How's all right. That? Wow. All right. That, that was nice. You just made that up, didn't you? I did, actually. That so, was actually uh, kind of good. Let's go ahead and get into it, baby. All right. So let me go back. Sorry. My notes are freaking out on me. This is what happens when we go remote. So... All right, so the first news is that this was something that we've been talking about. It's kind of been out there on the edges, the minivans. So if you have not already seen the minivans, they are these adorable, cute little red vans. And there's a couple of, you know, passenger van small trucks that have white polka dots. Kind of like this, except red and white, not black and white. Correct. And the minivans are Disney's answer to Uber and Lyft. And so, in fact, this is actually an offshoot of Lyft. It's part of their partnership with Disney. And the minivan service is now open to all who are visiting the Walt Disney World Resorts. Uh, so we, were, the, we were kidding around last night. You get a minivan. You get a minivan. You, you get, get a minivan. minivan. Everybody gets a minivan. Sorry. I, I know. The jokes are fun. Tony laughs at your jokes. No, no, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I laugh at your jokes. No, no, okay. no, you don't. All right, so the service offers a comfy and convenient way for guests to travel to and from the theme parks, the dining reservations, the resort hotels, you know, the shopping at Disney Springs, whatever else you want to do that's from Disney property to Disney property, they will help you with. Right. The private vans are roomy, they're comfortable, they are air conditioned, and they usually only are minutes away from whatever your destination is. Each driver is a friendly Disney cast member, so they have been trained in the ways of the cast members. These are the cast members you're looking for. Right. Okay. And they will take you where you need to be safely and with a Disney smile. So, how does this work? Do you know how it works? Yeah, basically you uh, you open up your Lyft app if you're on Disney property. Well, first you have to download the Lyft app if well, you don't already have it. You well, open it up anywhere on Walt Disney World. Um, you select the minivan service option and then follow, you know, follow the steps that are confirmed your pickup location, you enter your Walt Disney World Resort destination, and you tap request. Right, right. So the app will display a map tracking the vehicle en route, so it shows you exactly how far away the minivan is from you, and it gives you an identifying vehicle number <coughs> to help you spot your car. So there's no right. chance you're going to get in the wrong minivan. No chance. That's what you've got. So with Lyft, you can request your ride from a smartphone, you can pay right through the app, you can even add the tip that way, which is great, because how many people really carry cash? No, no money is transferring during that, which is a great thing for you and for your Uber or and, Lyft driver. And, and we know how much a lot of the drivers make, so definitely a couple of dollars here and there. Right. This, Lyft is not paying us to say this, we are saying this on behalf of our friends who drive. Right. So Also, the, I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead, go you ahead. wrote the copy, so go you ahead. know there's more to it, right? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. The minivan service is easy, it's friendly, it's a great way to whisk your family off to the magic, and the service is available from 6.30 a.m. to 12.30 a.m. Now, they are looking at changing some of the hours depending on the restaurants and the park hours, so keep an eye out for that. Now, right. what were you going to say, darling? Well, as convenient as Lyft is when you're on Disney property, there is an option to be taken to or picked up from the airport. But let me warn you, it's two things. It's $150 per vehicle. So if you have six people with six large pieces of luggage, it's not going to fit one lift vehicle. Probably not. So we Although heard they a, have the larger, uh -uh, they uh -uh. do have the larger vans. I'm just not sure how they actually work. Yeah, we had we heard of a story of a family that came in, and because they had so much luggage, they actually had to order an additional lift vehicle. So it was three hundred dollars from the airport to here. Magical Express is there for a reason, kids. So just as cool as it is, just be very cautious when you when you uh, when you do this. Um, and and one please forgive me. You can't have a great Splitsville cocktail without a wonderful Splitsville treat. And so we've got their their loaded fries here. So yeah. Yeah, and the one thing I did want to say, somebody in the chat room was like, Splitsville was an odd name. This uh, it's a bowling alley, so Splitsville. 
bowling alley. It, it's also, don't tell people, it's a chain. Yeah. Yeah, we have one in Tampa. Yes, we There's do. There's several all across the United States. So anyway, uh, Park Opera Mom is watching. So I saw hey. that. Uh, so Disney has set up some plans and contractors for uh, doing something very special over at the old River Country spot. Uh, and it's very interesting and very exciting and, and very quizzical. Uh, plans and construct uh, contractors are being in, put in place uh, for Disney's Project 89, which will add yet another Walt Disney World Resort to the already already burgeoning roster. Uh, sources have reported you, that Disney and uh, the Wimberley, Allison, Tong, and Gu design and architecture company, which already did the Bellagio Shanghai, uh, the Ritz-Carlton Bali, uh, will head up the resort's design, and Balfour Beatty, the contractor who won the competitive bid for the project. Uh, what tag? What tag? What tag? Uh, project 89's had two major permits filed. The first back in March, testing surfaces. We think that's testing uh, the ability to uh, withstand the weight of, of a resort. And then the second one that was filed uh, in early May created a stockpile area for Disney's Stallport, which is that long stretch of road uh, right near um, the, the road that takes you to the Magic Kingdom okay. resorts. Uh, plans for the resort uh, is that it will occupy the old River Country property, currently include 1,300 plus rooms or standard size rooms, 300 equivalency units, which would be on site for Disney Vacation Club members. So those units could absorb as much as 940 rooms, depending on suite size and number of adjoining rooms. So we're talking about a major construction here. Absolutely. Estimates for construction costs total around $350 million. Total development cost to Disney would be, be significantly higher. So, oh, it's only $350 million. Only $350 million. Um, and So here's the thing. Here's the question that I would love for you guys in the chat room to help us out with. Uh, we already have, on one side of this resort will be Fort Wilderness, campgrounds, the cabins, and on the other side is uh, Disney's Wilderness Lodge, uh, plus the Copper Creek cabins for Disney Vacation Club, what type of resort, what resort would you put in between those? Like, what would you call it? Uh, no, what kind of resort? I mean, if you want to pick a name, that's great, but what what kind of resort, well, how would you theme that resort? You know, it certainly wouldn't be like a super modern resort, because that would really stick out like a sore thumb in right. between those two rustic areas. So, what, what would you put there? Uh, leave us a note in the comment section. Best comment wins a prize. What prize? Uh, I I don't know, but it might be in book form. All right, is that cool? What's next? I don't know. I had my idea. What was your idea? I think they should build it to just look like a mountain. So All like right. the penthouse would be only one room, and then it would just come down like this, or maybe even have a few peaks, and it would look like a mountain. So you're literally staying inside of the mountain. And inside is a Yeti that does not move. And he's got his disco ball. <laughs> All right, next. Next. Oh. Well, you forgot the part that um, this company has actually already worked with Disney, so this is not a new partnership for them. They worked on Grand Floridian. Uh, they worked in uh, the Disney parks in Paris and Tokyo and in Hong Kong. So this is actually a long-standing relationship, and they have a really good reputation for what they do for Disney. All right. So we're kind of excited. Yep. Beautiful. And, and yes, we are at Splitsville here in Disney Springs. Someone has asked me that in the chat room. So yeah, we're, we're here. All right. We're actually here. So, in Disney's Animal Kingdom, there is a new PhotoPass Magic shot coming. I'm very excited for this. Yeah? I think it's showing my age. Huey, Dewey, and Louie, Donald Duck nephews, will be coming to Disney Animal Kingdom. So they will be joining, um, let's see, it was Keon from Disney Junior's The Lion Guard, and Ka from Disney's The Jungle Book, and there was also a panda that was inspired by the Disney nature born in China. Random panda. Aww. It know, could right? be worse. It could be a trash panda. Trash oh, panda. Wait, we oh, have that. rocket raccoon. Sorry, rocket. Sorry, rocket. Oh. So, anyway, they have just announced that uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie will be added to the list of available 
Magic Shot filters. That's great. So these are not actual meet and greets, but these will be the filters that they put on your pictures. You so. know, for some guests who are coming to Disney and the photographer says, put your hand out like this, and they put Tinkerbell in it, it's going to be the same thing. So Huey, Dewey, and Louie will be yes. able to be a party picture, which is pretty cool. It's pretty exciting. I think that sounds adorable. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I, I'm, lo I'm trying to find out where they do magic shots with Donald so I can take my mom there so she can get a Donald photo pass. So. I'm sorry, I keep eating. I know, if you're hungry, hungry, go ahead and eat. One thing we want to let you know before we move on is we want to encourage you to come over to www.parkhoppers.com slash Amazon. If you're going to be buying anything in the next couple of days from Amazon, please go to the www.parkhoppers.com slash Amazon link first and then do your shopping at Amazon. It's not going to cost you anything more. What that does is that gives us a kickback uh, of just a few pennies. That kind of helps us keep, like we literally just paid our hosting bill. And uh, we have to pay for things. Uh, and that allows us to do really cool things and, and come to you and do ec uh, events like this. Uh, so do that. And then if you're looking for some uh, shows, hand chosen by us, things that, that we love uh, from Amazon, you can go to www.parkoppers.com slash shop. And you can find curated items that we've chosen that we just love. Now, is that want. Amazon or Shopify? It's Amazon. Oh, very cool. Yeah, it's Amazon. So we trust Amazon more than Shopify. So, uh, so you can go check that out, and we would certainly appreciate uh, any support that you can give us. Absolutely. Yep. All right, so I'm going to take you back to Disney's Animal Kingdom. Yay. One of John's favorite things about Disney is Disney's ability to do crowd control. You have no idea. It's it's a sickness. It, it is. Like, no matter what they do, he sees a pattern in it. So, starting June 1st, so starting just a few days ago, Disney's Animal Kingdom is testing a new stroller parking system right. that separates guest strollers into zones and then follows up and collects feedback on their experience. Because if there's one thing Disney loves even more than crowd control, it's surveys. So... During this pilot event, the attractions and shows will include special stroller parking at Festival of the Lion King, Finding Nemo the Musical, It's Tough to Be a Bug, Kali River Rapids, the Kilimanjaro Safari, and the Wildlife Express train. So what happens is that either visitors who rent a stroller, um, they get a specialty tag when they rent it, and when you bring your own stroller, you get a different kind of tag at your first parking location. So, the tags are featured in different colors, and you match up with a different colored stroller parking zone that designates where guests can park their strollers. So, instead of everybody being right here all crammed in, you've got some people here, some people there, some people there, some people here. Right. They want to spread it out, because we have seen women get into fights, and a few men get into <laughs> fights because they feel that someone stole their rented stroller. Right. Because Disney will have to move them around because it gets too crowded, and yeah. So Animal Kingdom is hoping to space out the stroller parking areas to improve the guest experience with the new system. There is no set date on when it will end, but we shall see. Yeah, I think I think it's something that is is going to have to really get a handle on as more and more guests are bringing strollers into the parks. It's becoming more and more of a problem. It's, it's been a problem, so I'm glad Disney's addressing it, uh, but we'll see how it works out. We've got some other ideas on how they could handle the stroller situation, but Disney didn't ask us our opinion. Will you remind everybody what everybody what we're drinking tonight, what the drink is for the evening? The drink of the night is the Trifecta, a stirred concoction of Old Forester Signature 100 Proof, Carpana Antica Vermouth, Benedictine, and Pimento Tram. It's amazing. And it kind of looks like that. Yep. Mine's a little, it's gotten a little, oh, cheers. Cheers. It's got a little watered down as the ice is melting because yeah. I'm just not drinking fast enough. Old Forster is one of my favorite bourbons. It's nice, it's smooth, it's really good. Mm. And this is, um, it's actually mellowed out a little bit. The first round, or well, this Ooh, was the first hard, round. Pretty hardcore. It was, it's definitely a strong drink and yeah, thank you Disney. So, one of the changes that Disney's making here uh, is really trying to combat fraud. Apparently, we're calling it Babygate 2018. Did you Baby know, Gate. Ba Baby Gate? Did you know? And because Sarah and I don't have, I thought it was Baby Swap 2018. Yes, because because Sarah and I don't have babies, we don't, we've never experienced this. Uh, what? What? Wait, what are Harley and Casey? Well, yes, but we're not going to bring them to Disney because that would just be chaotic. Harley and Casey are our dogs. For those of you who don't know, 
Uh, so Disney's, Disney's switching to a digital rider switch pass or baby swap. Uh, at the attractions here at Walt Disney World to combat fraud. Apparently, they were giving out cards for swappy swappies, yes. and people were abusing it. No! So, I know, crazy, right? So, the Rider Switch Pass is currently available at select uh, Walt Disney World theme park attractions that feature a height requirement. The process in place uh, allows families with children under the height requirement a chance to ride the ride while a family member waits with that child outside. Mm -hmm. One person gets a rider switch pass, joins, and waits in the standby queue, and when they get off the ride, they then take over child duties while the other family member uses the pass to join the Fast Pass Plus return line and avoid waiting basically twice for the ride. It's a simple system that has arguably worked well for years. Until now. Well, uh, it wasn't until now. It's now they're cracking down. Right. Because we've seen people, you know, one person will go through the ride twice because they want to ride it. And mom doesn't get to ride it or dad doesn't get to right. ride it. And then, and then I've also seen where people will, will switch will switch pass and then the cast members change. Yes. And then they'll go back. So they'll basically get two or three times on the same switch pass. Well, uh, and the switch pass was good for... It was something crazy. Was it? What did they say? A month. A month. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to month. that. So some people would wait in line, and they would ride it once, and then they would leave, and they'd come back the next day or that night or something like that. And it's supposed to be an immediate thing. Right. Right. So. Okay. So by the end of this month, the process will switch to a digital rider switch pass, basically scanning a guess a magic band or media card, uh, and add it to their entitlements. All of the guests will be riding in the party of three that will use the Fast Pass Plus queue. Uh, they'll have to have the entitlement on their account to enter. Mm -hmm. The major changes here are that, one, the entitlement is going digital, removing the cast member having to physically check a printed ticket, as well as the rider switch pass now being only valid for a certain length of time in the day, uh, which is issued uh, previously, it was valid for up to a month. Right. Which is ridiculous. So now it's going to be something like it's valid for two hours. Yeah. Guests will also now be unable to hold more than one rider switch pass at a time. Uh, cast members are currently being trained uh, for this digital, digital conversion and should be fully trained within the upcoming weeks for a full rollout by the end of June 2018, should everything go according to plan. So and, do you think part of this training might be like conflict negotiation for all the people that are used to being able to cheat the system and they're going to argue it now? Sure. I, th I think that somebody that's not getting paid, you know, as much as the next person uh, has to deal with an irate guest, they should have some extra training. So there's going to be a lot of people who are going to throw a or fit thinking that if they throw a big enough fit, the cast member will just go, well, oh, shucks, just come on, let's ride the ride. And then, and then they have all the people behind that guest irate because they caved and let this person ride the ride. Absolutely. So it's 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 a fair problem, uh, but Disney's doing the best it can. Again, it's a it's a great use for the Magic Band. It's a great use for the Magic Band media. So uh, I think this is an okay change. I, I feel like Disney has really been trying to combat some of the issues of. The line jumping, uh, the line holding, where one person will go and hold a spot in line, and then 20 people join them right before they get on the ride. Yeah, that's the best. And we said that we saw that. I stood in line to get a picture with Donald Duck, and anyone that has ever watched the show knows that we talk about how much Park Hopper Mom loves Donald Duck. Right. And so I stood in line. I, in fact. They did a swap because Donald was a little hot, you know, he's getting a little sweaty behind the feathers, and so he went to take a break and they brought out somebody else. I wasn't getting my picture taken with the other character. So I was letting people go ahead of me, and then once that character took a break, I, you know, I waited, and they brought Donald back out, and there was a kid that was there for, um, I was trying to remember, it wasn't Give Kids the World, it was a different Make program. Make a wish? No. It was a third program. And they were there, and they were on their yellow shirts, and there were about five of them. And they said, okay, we're going to let you get a picture. And as we stood there, and they took three or four pictures, more kids joined. And at one point, 20 people, all in the yellow shirts, came running up. I seriously have been standing there for 15 minutes, and I was the first person in line. Right. And at that point, the photographer said, okay, no, no, we're not doing it. Sorry. 
you you either were here or you weren't here. So right. Yeah. So uh, I think they've really been you know trying to hold their own, and I appreciate that. Right. Absolutely. I agree. So as we mentioned before, uh, next week we're going to be live from the Polite Pig. Yes. Uh, we're going to be over there at the scene of the crime, back where it all started. We are Hopefully Patrick up. will be there. I'm going to reach out Discover to Patrick. Bourbon. I'm going to reach out to Patrick, and uh, who's one of the managers over there. Hopefully we'll get him on, and uh, maybe we'll be able to bring you a sample of one of their amazing cookies. Oh. Uh, some of the special stuff there. I'm cookies. looking forward to the uh, to the uh, winter circle because that that of all the cocktails that I've had through the experience on and off camera, that's probably my favorite. It was a little sweet for me, but I did really like it. Right. So. Yeah. So. Uh, so we're going to wrap up the show. Obviously, if you're in the chat room, we're going to stay on and do some Q&A if you want to, just to kind of stick around and make it a little bit more fun. But for now, we want to thank you for taking time to listen or watch. We encourage you to come to www.parkhoppers.com. Uh, check out everything that we have over there, our show archives, links to our sponsors, as well as uh, click on our newsletter link and sign up for our newsletter. Uh, we, we covet your content. We don't sell your email address. We keep it under lock and key. Uh, well, there's laws about that now. There are laws, and we make sure that we follow <laughs> them to the letter. Uh, so we would love to have you uh, join our family over there. And uh, make sure you come back next week for Park Hoppers Live when we're over at The Polite Pig. So for now, I'm Park Hopper John. I'm Park Hopper Sid. And we are WDW Park Hoppers. Four parks, one world. And everything in between.